Hi guys, this is Marcus from Person.com and I thought I'd show you the quickest and easiest way to get yourself a craft bucket server set up without visiting any websites or using a console like a black and white console or anything like that. So it's called Bucket GUI, it's very stable, it's been around for quite a long time now and uh, if, even if you're running a public server, uh, this program will be very useful for local testing, especially with updates because if uh, those of you who know about this, if you have a public server and you've got a bunch of plugins on it and then an update comes around usually you run into trouble with plugins not working anymore so you need a way uh, to test it without affecting your public server and obviously dealing with things like black and white consoles is you know really boring and not really worth it so this is bucket GUI it's a very good piece of software and as you can see it pretty much looks like you'd see if you bought a uh, console on the web or like some form of front end uh, as you can see we have the start restart reload kill buttons it tells you a bit about your system so if you're using too much cpu like my computer is but that's because i've got a gazillion things running uh, you can go ahead and do that and the console usually appears in this main area here i'll start the server very shortly but the first thing you're really going to want to do when you get into this program is go to the Superstar tab. So you'll see the Java version. So some plugins require Java 6, some do start Java 7. So it's on you which one you want to use. I'd highly recommend Java 7. Uh, you can choose the amount of memory on your system. Obviously, don't give it too much. Or you're going to slow yourself down, especially if you make this public. This could be running in the background. Uh, that you can do that. You'll see the jar file, so uh, it does link to the jar file from the website if you want to put it in manually. Uh, you'll see that I've been working with MCPC or the modern Minecraft system. Uh, what we've got over here is very, very simple, straight grabbing from craft bucket. So you don't need to even go to a website to download those jar files. You can just download the latest recommended. So if you're absolutely new to this, just simply download bucket GUI and go to here and just download the latest recommended build. Uh, with updates coming around the corner as of this video, uh, the latest recommended build is going to be old. So just be aware of that. They do take a while to update after new updates are released. But after that, as you can see, just launch the server and then you'll be into it. Now, this is something that my web panel that I pay for doesn't even have. It's just an error logging tab, which is infinitely useful. So if your server starts and everything, as you know from console, it just all appears in here. This is what happens to everything. When people connect, everything happens here. But it's very easy to miss errors if you have a lot of people connecting. And um, without having to download the entire server log and find out what those errors are, you can simply go into the error logging tab and it will group everything together that there's problems with and put it here. You can then copy that or find more details on it too. Very, very useful. So if I go to the task manager, this is obviously very simple. You can have a time thing. So for example, if you were to restart your server every day to refresh it, because you can just have this running in the background, you do get in the bottom right hand corner a nice little icon that continues to run as your system's going. But a lot of servers, if you allocate too many plugins in, it's going to need a refresh just so you don't get any memory leaks or memory eating plugins. And uh, if we go to the plugins tab, this is going to try and load straight from the bucket website. It did fail in my last uh, look at it, but uh, this does normally work. It may be my connection or something. Oh, here we go. Now it's working. So this literally loads every plugin from the bucket website and it's as easy to install as a double click. Uh, so you double click it, it'll tell you more about the plugin. You don't even need to go to the website. As you can see, right, so this has got all of them. You can separate it down into categories. You've got the version that it's available for. You'll see some are very old, so you're not going to want to use them. But you can see which ones have updates, all different things like that. 9,724 plugins available. Very nice. So again, you can load this on startup. Very useful. And you can see what is available to add to your server. And then you can go to the installed ones. You can update them here too. So very, very nice. So let's quickly dig into server options. This is what you'd see normally in your server.properties. So again, no editing of files here, no downloading of files here. It's all done inside Bucket GUI. Again, we've got whitelist, ops, banned players, and banned IPs. So very easy to ban people too. Uh, it's got a nice little inbuilt backup system. Very cool. So I guess it will zip it up. I've not really used it, uh, but yep, it'll just compress it as you can see. And then you, you can just be off and I'm guessing it restores it very easily too. Uh, it's got an import area. So pretty cool. And in the options and info, you can change things. Uh, it does tell you your IP address, your external one, which I'm going to hide from this video. But uh, if you need to do some port forwarding, that's a completely different video. Uh, I recommend you could try and use Hamachi and then give out the Hamachi IP. Uh, if you if you're, you know how to do that, that's pretty cool. I think I made a video on it a while ago. If you want to check that out. 
But uh, again, try and sound, play sound on on player joining, which is useful too. So if you want to get some warning sounds, you can get that going too if you're just running it. And it's even got a light mode, which is nice. All functionality that isn't needed. Safe mode, very nice. So that pretty much covers it. This is Bucket GUI. If I just go ahead and start the service, you get an example of how this is running. So server cannot be started, failed to bind a port, server is running already. So I think I actually do have another version of it already, but at least it's telling me exactly what needs to be done. So I've got a Java instance already open just because I've been testing it. And uh, yeah, so this just gives you a quick idea of the console. You'll see it's been starting on localhost. So if you typed in localhost into your Minecraft client, uh, you'd be able to connect here. So absolutely most basic, easiest way to get a server started in pretty much the easiest way possible was just tabs and clicking. So that's about it really. If you get your server started, feel free to put the IP in the comments. I own mc.dunkserve.com. So feel free to check that out. That's now turned into a network from one server into, into about seven. So feel free to check that out. It's quite a few cool new things. But I'm looking forward to the new updates. And again, this is probably the most useful thing you're going to get in terms of helping fixing things for updates. So thanks for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next one.